Ria was a naughty, naughty, spoiled brat, okay? She's had a privileged life. Always had domestic help, drivers, that naughty brat. And the next thing you know, after 10 years, uh, she's standing next to a US president and <laughs> Bill and Belinda Gates. It never crossed my mind, never. My family saw me as a party girl. I wasn't very academically inclined. After I finished my 12th grade in 2011, my only dream at that point of time was to go abroad. You know, the dumb little 21-year-old privileged girl that I was. I walked in and, you know, I've never seen such a sight. There was flesh on the floors, there was blood on the walls, syringes everywhere. It was literally what horror movies are inspired by. So, the next day I decided to abandon the idea for the documentary and registered my organization. मेरे हस्बैंड ने किया मुझसे उनको थोड़ा शक था कि मैं जरा वाहन जाती थी मैं जॉब करती थे कोई सेल करती थी तो उनको उस चीज पे ना डाउट हो रहा था कि कि तू किसी के साथ तेरा अफेयर है एक रात मैं सो रही थी मेरे चेहरे पे पूरा एसिड डाल दिए और मेरे को बोल रहा है वो कि जी ले अपनी जिंदगी अब तुझे किस तरह जीने का है I was like this. I couldn't think that I could be so bad from acid. What was I before and now what happened? When I got to meet my children, my children told me that this is not my mom. So my daughter said, no, we were scared. My mom was scared. She 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 was scared. When a woman exercises her power to say no to something or doesn't obey, there's always consequences. Not only are you stealing their identity from them, it's a crime that stays with you for the rest of your life. Acid attack survivors have to go in for surgeries for years and years on end till they can achieve some sort of normal. It is extremely hard for survivors to get employment because, you know, society refuses to accept them. The psychological and social aspects of it makes it one of the most horrific things you can ever do to someone. I didn't get out of the house before. I didn't get out of the house before. I didn't get out of the house before. अच्छा नहीं लगता है वो बहुत सारे सारे लोग आते हैं वो देखते हैं तो अच्छा नहीं लगता है मुझे लेकिन जब से मैं यहाँ दिल्ली रियादी के साथ आ रहे हैं ट्रीटमेंट करा रहे रह रहे हैं तो रियादी ने मुझे मतलब बोला कि कुछ सीखो कुछ करो We try to be a very holistic organization, so. We help survivors out legally, medically, or with funding, or help them set up their own businesses. Our aim is to reach that level of acceptance where an acid attack survivor can walk down the streets without being questioned. The Supreme Court of India had already regulated the sale of acid in 2013. Why aren't the states implementing it? It makes me extremely angry that these women have to keep going through this when this is so preventable. 
the law says that an asset tax survivor should get her entire compensation the first one month after she's attacked. If those funds were actually doled out on time, these families wouldn't have to sell everything. They wouldn't lose everything they own. I wrote into like 50 organizations. The day we found out that Sony and Reshma were going to end up going, like any proud mother, I think I might have silently shed one tear. I would like to see this crime really dropping in uh, frequency. And then she takes a back seat. And uh, maybe then Bria will uh, finally uh, uh, find a job. I've got news for him. That's not happening. Surprise, Dad. I'm doing this because I feel very deeply for the women that I work with and uh, you don't abandon the people that you love. <laughs>